hair thin, but pretty good. Yeah, the last couple of strikes have been really nice. That thin one, you're, like your clubhead speed or ball speed, nothing really is affected. Spin's no. still pretty good. There you are. Welcome back, things. Does this feel nice? Look nice. Still think JPX is my, so far, my, my favorite of the bunch. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are nearing the end, Mikey, of our sort of conclusion to the year, our wide testing of, we've done drivers, we've done, mm -hmm. I think we've done fairways, we may not have yet done fairways, oh, yeah. I think that's still on the list. Lots of irons. Lots of irons. And we're gonna stick to irons today. Mm -hmm. um, last time we done a sort of players cavity back yep. category, there was lots of question marks or comments around where's this iron, where's that iron? They're here today. This is yep. players distance, right? So you've got players cavity, that tends to be segmented by loft. Mm -hmm either 29 or 30 degrees, weaker in yeah, loft yeah. by today's standards. Yeah. Today is all about the 27 and 28 degree lofted iron. So think about T150, think about P770, that type of thing. Um, so every iron in this test today, Mikey, is 28 degrees aloft. Mm -hmm. They might not come as standard as that, so something like a 770 is yeah, a 29. Yeah, yeah, we've standardized it. Yeah, we've, we've standardized all of them, I230s, mm -hmm. Eight irons, this is the widest iron test we have ever That's done. And I really think that you guys watching, this probably covers a lot of people who watch this channel. One of these eight irons is probably something that you guys have thought about or probably should be thinking about. Definitely, yeah, good point. I, the nice thing with this, I look at this and there's so many levels of handicaps that this could fit. It's, yeah. it's insane, you have, I always consider P770s the, you know, the baby P790, still quite yeah. forgiving and then mm. you have you know, I-230 generally, not the most, it's forgiving, but it's it's not that, you know, speed induced iron yeah. kind of thing. So this will be a good test. It will be good. And obviously by the comments in the previous videos, we now know what you guys are looking for and things like the, you know, the ZX-7 Mark II Strix on irons, that seems to be one that people really want us to test. Yeah. Obviously we know T-150 probably pound for pound is the most popular iron mm -hmm. in golf yeah. right now. It certainly is in our stores and we're here in, in the marketplace that, it probably is about as popular as an iron gets. Uh, happens to be in your bag and mm -hmm. mine. Yeah, I like it. It's been uh, no changes right now, so we're good. It's good news. Okay, let's get started. Lots to test eight irons today. We've never done a test of this many clubs in the same test, so bear with us, stick with it. Uh, we'll try and standardize the test as much as we can. We're looking for performs. We're looking for the tight standard deviations. Will we comment on look, feel? We'll be commenting on what we prefer, some of the ad advantages of the designs, et cetera, et cetera. So lots to dive into. Stay tuned for it. All right, Mikey. Welcome to Scotland. King Barnes, number 15, par three, 185 today. No Lovely wind. Hole. No wind. A bit easy. You'll probably be in the beach a couple of times. But welcome to the island. How many test. times? Oh, at least once. Uh, we're going to start Mizuno JPX 923, uh, standard shaft, Modus 120. Um, You've given me a bit of a task with this. A little, little bit more. TX? Yeah. yeah, people are saying you're a bit, a bit strong, strong for using such a soft shaft. Who, who are these people? Oh, the commenters. <laughs> 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 All right, commenters. Let's have it. JPX 923, good looking iron. Comes as standard at 27 mm -hmm. on the uh, six iron, so like immediately when I put it down, We've bent it to 28, yeah. it looks great. Yeah. Like taking a bit of the offset mm -hmm. off, it, it looks amazing. A really nice, really nice iron. I actually played the four iron in this for a little bit, really liked it. Uh, so yeah. my, my I think it's a, I sold a set of these the other day. I think it's a great iron. Yeah, yeah. Obviously waiting for the new Mizuno Pros to come out. The, the 223 or the new version would have been in this test. Yeah, yeah. So you can't do an iron test and not have a Mizuno no. Repre no. representative. So it's the 23 forged, <laughs> JPX 23 forged. Just start your day with one of those. Two You're a bit of a dodgy putter. Two putt from there. You could you even would, make that. Two putt from there for you, and you'll make you a nice You might even make bar. a birdie. That was quite nice. We always find this iron is a little larger heel to toe visually. Mm -hmm. So much forgiveness off of it for this, you know, player's category. Yeah, yeah it's a beauty though, isn't it? That's where you're kind of happy to have a little bit of forgiveness on one like that, Mikey. Yeah, a little little push. Just a little, Not yeah. necessarily crazy thin, to just, but you got away with it, which is nice. Ball speed doesn't fluctuate, still launch and spin quite nicely. 
pretty cool to see on an iron like that, and, and this, is a, this is a very important part of this test, is what does the iron do? So that was a little toy, pretty good on vertical impact. Face was a bit open, so you mm -hmm. get more dynamic cloth, but look at the efficiency, 140. Really good. Very high. So on an iron like this, that's what buys you the extra room to get over the water. The mm. fact you've left the face open, but you've got lots and lots of ball speed out of a, a pretty smooth swing. Yeah. A little reaction to a push is just turn one a little bit. Skinny. You get away with good. it. The nice thing with this iron, I find players that want to drop into something less forgiving or into a different category, mm -hmm. you can have this, like this iron is super forgiving. It's got a little bit more help behind it than, than the other ones in yeah. this category for sure. Quite a lot of room to sort of make it some different types of irons as well. Like obviously 27 degrees aloft, you've weakened it. You can go yeah. obviously one strong and, and get into the hot metal pro category, but mm. with a smaller shape. Yeah, good point. Um, yeah, quite quite a nice one. All right, P770, a little s smaller footprint in a way. Yeah, a little bit. Sounds nice better. Opener, Mikey. Yeah. Can add the look of a softer, uh, maybe a bit soft in the swing. Up my speed a little bit. Another decent strike. Yeah. Loves the left ball, this yeah, one. No kidding. My JPX made it look too easy at first. It was it was ridiculously easy. All right, Fraz Apex Pro 24, newest iron added to the matrix. Mm -hmm. Quite a good looking profile, Mikey. Mm -hmm. Obviously trying to incorporate more of that player's distance package, has some more loft. Obviously going after the real, real uh, tight standard deviation. That's what we saw in our testing. Yeah, um, yeah nice iron. Always been a, a, a fan of Apex Pro. Dating back to the very first ones. Yeah, yeah, the very always, first ones always are great. Yeah. It's a little chunky. Always. It's just so long to spin. Come on. This is a bit better. Old, faith, old Faithfuls at oh, one point. hello, I-230s. At one month in 2023. Let's let bygones be bygones. <laughs> no, good looking iron, I, I do like it. Just uh, just a couple of things weren't quite right for me. I'll say in the, in the fitting bays though, very popular iron. Yeah. A lot of people coming in asking for the Fraser iron, and this is what we gave them. Get them back in the bag, Michael, quick. <laughs> Oh, quite nice. I tell you what, they feel amazing on the face. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do they sound quite good? Yeah, they do. And maybe I got a dud set. <laughs> it was because you didn't play a whole set. You had no, seven, I eight, no, nine iron. I didn't, I didn't. I had a whole set in there. Well, I don't remember that Four part. to gap wedge. 
What? I know, but then you have like a triple no, set. No, that was something else. That was <laughs> two two fives and then ZX sevens and then Mira five oh twos. What a mess. That was a different time. Tell you what. Welcome back, things. These feel nice. Look nice. Still think JPX is my so far my, my favorite of the bunch. Just feel good. There, it looks very similar to JPX. It's very easy to, uh, you can't really miss, which is nice. Spins up a little bit too. Yeah, I, I do like that. Yeah, these feel great. They really do. The Cobra CB, the last test performed pretty well for you. I'm, I'm expecting the, the same out of these guys. This looks good. This is very much like JPX from a head profile mm. and offset perspective. Yeah. Some of the ones I've not loved uh, in terms of the shape, this one, this one though gets, gets the approval. Felt good. Felt good. I don't know if I could hit it more in the middle of the club than that, Mikey. Yeah, perfect. Little T150 comparison to that? Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Right up there with that. I like the launch and spin. Speeds Love the launch too. and spin with this. I didn't quite get that, but that's really good. Yeah, it's come right back for you. It, uh, I thought that was gonna stay out. Yeah, it was necky and... It's better. It sounded really good. Yeah. Swing looked a little bit more compact there too. Yeah, nice, nice set with the Cobras. All right, Fries, PXG 0317 CB. It's like a family reunion for you. All your long lost relatives, I-230, coming up next are the two other ones you've played. We're reunited once reunited, again. Reunited, and it feels so good. We literally have been through all of these almost, haven't we? Yeah, bla a blast from the past. Oh, man. It's a nice sound. Mm. Very solid. That was struck nicely. Been all right. Hair thin, but pretty good. Yeah, last couple strikes have been really nice. That thin one, your like your clubhead speed or ball speed, nothing really is affected. Spin's no. still pretty good. Easy task. All right, Fraz, the current gamer. The only dicey thing about doing this test is your own irons are in amongst it. They better perform. And you perform. actually get a chance to see other irons in the same category at the same specs. And you get a chance to critique, maybe they're not right. Well, I don't know if I'm going to sleep tonight. I think this doesn't go well. I think they're right, but to be fair, Steve hit some of these where you could change tomorrow and be no issues. It'll be okay. So good. Pure, pure, pure. Such a nice feeling iron. Now these go further. Definitely. <laughs> Further, higher. Stay in the bag, Mikey. That's it. Sounds fine. fine. One more. Okay, Fries, 
Last but certainly not least, Strixon ZX7 MK Mark II. Uh, popular one, obviously for us, everyone. I would say this is probably the most requested iron when we did the first iron test. Well, way more than you know P770 or T150. It's no, no doubt. been a popular one and you know great quality, something that we've worked with for a long time. Long so, time, yeah. It's um, been a, a shape that's really evolved, not changed. Yeah. Hasn't really changed a lot. It's when they, they reinvent them, they, they kind of go, we took this from the 745, we took mm. this from 785, and uh, it's just, it's con continuously refined. Yeah, yeah. Very nice shape, though. So good. Such a good iron. The amount of ball speed and clubhead speed out of that thing. Yeah, it's just, I feel like there should be like a, like a model 9, ZX9 mm. or something, 579, and it was yeah. a tour's tour, but... I would love a, a, a kind of player's cavity that had a little bit of a higher CG, a little bit of a slimmer frame. Yeah. It, it could be really, really good. I think this this shape, but like a JPX Tour type frame. Yeah. Could we've we've said in the past, even their Z Forged, if you could use the Z Forged shaping oh, yeah. and, and with size. With a cavity with some perimeter weighting. Be, a, be the best iron. It would. So good. Just got lots on it, hasn't it? Yeah. Even that one down the right right side, bit like the JPX one we spoke about. Mm -hmm. Down the right side, but it's got so much on it. Yeah. From some of the others we tested, spin definitely drops a little bit. It does, doesn't it? Um, it doesn't it? But that, yeah, I mean, it, it looks it looks jumpy from back here. Yeah. And that last one had a lot of heat to it. It's very solid. Like you hit them. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, the last three, if we go up to club, like. Like, so good ball speed comes from the center of the head. There's no doubt about that. Especially with this mainframe technology mm. that they've got, it feels so solid because it's quite thick yeah. around the outside. Yeah, yeah. And, and the, the kind of perimeter is what creates the feel. So it's the stability in the feel. Might not be what I love to look at. And I would, you know, what I would always say to Strixon, please make it a bit thinner. But they would then go back and go. Well, you're gonna you're gonna sacrifice some of that yeah, performance. Point. You're gonna get the you're gonna lose some of that feel that you love so much. So their challenge is to get, keep the performance, but obviously improve the look. One of those sneaky ones though, with a slightly higher in the head. Yeah. Actually, spin didn't do spin done better than I thought it was. I thought mm -hmm. it was because the strike went up the head. Yeah. I thought spin was gonna nose dive to like 41, 42. It really didn't. Yeah. Efficiency still same. Pretty high. That's impressive, actually. I wasn't expecting that. If I was in the golf course, I would have went, ah, you know, don't, don't kind of knuckle on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it really didn't. A little drifty yeah. one, it's still it's fine. plenty. All right, Michael. Good test. Deepest test in terms of uh, heads that we've compared in a mm. single test. Yeah, and yeah. It's a lot of shots. It's, Anything uh, stand out for you just right out of the gates? Yeah, there, there was. There was some very noticeable okay. things as we, as we went along. And we started hot out the gate with JPX 923 forged. It was pretty much perfect. Yeah, it was impressive. It was like very consistent. It felt great. It can tick a lot of boxes uh, in terms of its its performance. Good speed, spin, standard deviations. Obscene. Yeah, so yeah. It's really the nice thing for me is that efficiency didn't drop if you did miss it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, this was an interesting one because we went from it being as easy as it could be and it started getting difficult. Yeah. I started missing this one like a bit left mm -hmm. and it was it was work. I mean, the shot counter, you can follow that shot counter up yeah, the top yeah. right. Like it took us some time to get us our allocated shots. Yeah. Like you said, if the pin was on the left side, you'd, yeah, be, be, fine, you'd be happy yeah. all day long. But um, yeah, standard deviation just gets a little bit bigger with spin as well. A little bit. I mean, still good in the grand scheme of things, mm -hmm. but when we compare it to an iron that's performing that well, it's, it's a bit on the higher side. So Apex Pro felt like it was moving in the right direction, but quite similar to 770. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, the numbers are Almost remarkably identical, identical yeah. a little bit lower in the launch, but uh, I'm just going to take those out of there. I-230. Got really good again. Mm -hmm. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Spin kind of came back up. Launch was down a little bit. Uh, ball speed was really well retained. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it, it, it was impressive, yeah. wasn't it? I like the spin off of that. Mm. To me, for especially these types of irons, sometimes you get that lower, knucklier spin. Yeah. It's nice to see it improve with I-230. I would say we probably started to, like, probably the best numbers of mm -hmm. the test, 123 and a half, 18, seven, and just under 5,000 mm -hmm. at 74 RPM standard deviation. Really, really good. Uh, consistency Very on consistent. carry distance, okay, and standard deviation was great on that one. So uh, those three, as of right now, were, were like the standout ones yeah. in my mind that were exceptional. PXG was good as well. It dipped a little bit on mm -hmm. uh, on ball speed. Launch came down. Actually, spin went yeah in a good spot. Yeah, um, super tight. Yeah, flatter flight. Mm -hmm. You could see that trajectory sitting under some of the other ones. My current gamers performed almost how you were expecting. Yeah, yeah. right in amongst these these other ones. Right in amongst it. There's nothing nothing I could could say that it was doing wrong. The only thing we we talked about when when I hit a couple slightly high in the head was. And I've talked about this before with that iron. There's so much high density tungsten mm. in there. High of the CG is a bit dead. Yeah, yeah. But you know, they're they're putting the good stuff where you want it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not putting the, the the good stuff where you don't want it. Yeah, which, which is you what would probably say doing. a lot more misses thin. So that's where that tungsten's definitely, placed. Definitely, definitely. And then last but by no means least. <laughs> I'm gonna clean some of these up here. Bit probably. Star. I think it performed extremely well. Like, yeah. Like like it was gonna perform. The one thing kind of gets, I wouldn't say it gets a bad rap, but people always ask, am I too shallow to play, you know, ZX7 or ZX5 mm. because of their VSOL? But, you know, for you, you're not, you're working on not being as steep as you were and you're, you know, two and a half down on mm. it. Um, you know, pretty, you know, pretty, performed pretty well. You didn't get any knuckly spins. I would say it's just a little bit quicker. What's quite interesting is when you look at the, from a design standpoint, when you look at the center of gravity on this one, right, so launch came down, spin went down as well, mm -hmm. but actually there was more delivered loft. Yeah, yeah. With the same attack angle. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint, it, it does tell us the CG is in a slight, quite a different place from something like the King Tour. Uh, I just think overall, Mikey, I just think the, the King Tour was a bit the star of the show there. Yeah, yeah. Quicker, super tight, standard deviation. Just ticked all those great boxes. It was it was carrying a really nice number, 82. Um, Almost 5,000 spin. Yeah. Like, I would say, the, the irons that stood out for me, and it's hard to pick a best, but if I was going to, Cobra would be the best totally. of this test yeah. for me in that test. Um, I'd say, I liked mine, obviously. I, I thought the Strixon was good. If I'm trying to kill, not, uh, kill some spin for someone, mm -hmm. uh, a high-speed player, yeah, yeah. brilliant iron. Yeah. Uh, I thought I-230 performed really, really well. And I thought JPX, JPX Forge, performed yeah. really, really well. So I'd kind of pick one, two, three, four, probably five. Yeah, yeah. That I thought done great. King of the test, Cobra King Tour. I think so. Great numbers. A little dub for Cobra. Yeah. Really, really good. You called it. You know, probably doesn't get the love at times it should. Yeah. But um, but pretty good. Okay, guys. So that's a wrap on the uh, the players' distance irons, Mikey. Mm -hmm. Congrats, winner, Cobra. Winner. Yeah, it, I mean, like we said earlier, it's an, it's an impressive iron. Mm -hmm. It needs a, maybe a bit more action pulled from the demo matrix. And, you know, if you're looking for irons, come and get, you know, fitted. But, you know, if you're in this category, request yeah. it. it. Request it, uh, in your fits what you want to try. And that King Tour, you will not be disappointed. It really ticks all the boxes. It really does. Okay, guys, um, hopefully there's nothing that we've left out now that you really wanted to see. I think we've done some wide testing on this. Um, if we've missed it, we're probably not going back over this, this same test. So, um, you know, there's, there's some good examples of irons at this loft with these designs that I think you should be looking mm, at. Um, moving into the holiday season, there's probably some irons in here that are going to, you know, start to kind of get maybe reduced in price mm -hmm. and some good deals that are going to be in amongst some of these irons. So hopefully you can use these numbers, use our feedback and our interpretation of what worked really, really well in here and, and try and maybe put yourself in that scenario. What do you need? Do you need less spin? Maybe mm. restrictions are great. Do you yeah. need more height? Cobra and uh, a couple of other ones are really, really good on, on height especially. So take a little look at that and see sort of what, what feels like represents you the best. That's how I think you guys can interpret these numbers the, the best for yourselves. Yeah, good point. Great stuff. Okay, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.